And in the meantime, let's talk to one person who will know what to do regarding conflicts like these. It's our own, our very own friend of the show, Philip Sykes. Now, Philip is the principal at the British School of Etiquette. So I asked our Philip if avoiding people we know in the street is always a bad thing. That is a hugely challenging question, Malcolm. Um, for me, personally, I think that you really have to have your wits about you. And <laughs> I'm sort of hesitating here because I don't want to sort of give the wrong sort of guidance and advice. I think going back to what you're saying, I think most people have done this at one time or another in their lives. And yeah. it always brings me to sort of thinking of a couple of, I'm sure, films or movies you've all seen where you see a supermarket scene and the person's wearing a cap and they dip the cap down and they try and avoid the person that they don't want to see. <laughs> Personally, I think if you're in a hurry and you don't really want to engage, I think passing a very nice compliment, saying, good to see you, that jumper looks amazing on you, we must catch up at some point in the near future, I've got to run, or I'm in a hurry, or you know, I've, I've got, I've got a, only a short time to sort of um, get my run out the way, or I've got to you know, find, find something. I mean, almost, I think what's important is not to sort of pull the wool over someone's eyes or, or, or tell a porky pie, but to sort of have a, a, a genuine, or what comes across as a genuine sort of excuse. Yes. So you see somebody you know in the street, they start to slow down, they've recognised you, they know you're there. Their body language tells you that they're ready for a 20-minute chat. Is it OK to say, oh, I can't stop, but we'll catch up later, that's all right, you can put it nice and politely? Definitely. Oh, 100%. I think people need to understand we need to value one another's time. And it's, it's almost like someone phoning on the spur of the moment and it doesn't suit you. You know, the, the telephone's there for your convenience, not the caller's convenience. So at the end of the day, I think just being very polite, beautiful body language, reciprocate with your beautiful body language, a lovely smile and a jovial hello. Good to see you. I've got to, ca I've got to catch a train or I've got to dash. Um, you know, but, I can't stop and chat right now, but I'll, I'll give you a call later, for example, or something that's genuine that you can follow up on. Because I think there's a lot of people who say, oh, Malcolm, we must catch up for a coffee at some point, yeah. and the telephone never rings. Yes. You, know, you never get that coffee in with that person. So, yeah, I think you're right, Malcolm. I think it's important that you understand that it's okay. Do it with friendliness, assertiveness, and good positive body language. Because it's surely the worst thing ever if the friend sees you darting down a side alley. Yeah, that would be very embarrassing. You would really hurt someone's feelings. It would be an awkward uh, situation, especially going forward. I think the next time you saw, saw that person, it would be there would there would be a, I think you'd be able to cut the atmosphere with a knife. Are we guilty sometimes of overthinking situations like this? Definitely. Definitely. And people need to respect one another's time. And, and everyone's got a gen, generally people have most probably got an agenda or something they need to get on with. And people, most people plan, plan, plan ahead. So, yeah, I think we overthink things. We get in our own heads and uh, we complicate matters and things. And I think we also take things quite personally, which a lot of the time is in our own heads again. So, yes, we do complicate things. Of course, during lockdown, especially the early days of lockdown number one, we made avoiding people a profession, didn't we? We did the sidestep and everything. But okay, it was OK then, because there was a reason. Absolutely. Now we need to be, I think, again, obviously not avoiding people um, intentionally, but we need to be, still stay vigilant and keep our distance through the sort of the next, at least the next three to four, maybe even five, six months. Yes. And it's always right to be forthright, to be polite and to tell the truth and say, sorry, I can't stop at the moment, but we will talk again. Absolutely. Or love the jumper. Looking, You're looking so well. I look forward to catching up with you another time. Or give me a call and we can have a, a chat over the phone. Or you know, just be polite and friendly. I think that's really important. Well, I would never dart down a side alley to avoid your presence, Philip, because it's always lovely speaking to you, and we will catch up again. Look forward to it, Malcolm. Thank you so much. All the best.